rod holders. There's all sorts of different shapes, styles, sizes, whatever for various types of fishing. Here's the ones that I use the most, the ones I've used over the last few years. Some are built, some are bought. Let's check them out. All right, this one here is your three and a half foot fence post, PVC, and just some heavy duty duct tape for you know added security. Bolted the PVC to the, the fence post, which depending on where you align it, you'll have to drill some holes. I wanted it as far up as possible, so I had to take drill some holes. And these are actually just the rod holder things you can get from Walmart for like four bucks. PVC, or not PVC, three and a half foot fence post you get at Lowe's for about four dollars. So this one here, price wise, you're looking at about seven to ten dollars, depending on where you get it. And the plus side of that one is it's going to be a lot stronger. You can get that one down into the ground a lot farther. It's going to be a whole lot more secure, but the problem is it's bigger, it's bulkier, and it weighs more. It's going to take up a lot more room in your, you know, your vehicle, whatever you haul your gear with, stuff like that. But like I said, it's the stronger of these that I've got here. If you're going to be doing some like overnight fishing like, or, you know, all day fishing from the bank and you want a good sturdy rod holder, those are the ones to go to. They're super easy to build, like I said. Fence post, drill a couple holes, bolt your PVC or your rod holder to it. You know, some electrical tape or duct tape for added visibility and strength. But like I said, they're heavier, bulkier. And I rarely use these particular rod holders anymore. Next up. And next up. These rod holders here you can get at Bass Pro Shops for about eight or nine dollars. It's just a piece of angled aluminum. Um, I'm not sure of the length of these. It looks like it's about, I don't know, 14 inches or something like that. You can get them up to 48 inches. Same PVC ish style rod holder on the previous ones. They're lighter. They're a little bit, not, well, they're not as strong, but. They are plenty strong for, you know, bank fishing and stuff like that. Um, higher visibility, I think they only come in green and yellow. But, you know, I've had some big catfish take off with my rods and didn't break them. Didn't bend the aluminum, nothing. You know, they're, they are, you know, for the budget minded, a little bit pricey, eight, nine dollars, but they work. They're lighter. More compact, you can throw them in your backpack or whatever. Next up, everybody that's ever fished from the bank has used one of these types of rod holders. You can get them at any sporting goods store for about two bucks, the coil type rod holders. Now they work fine. I would not trust them on you know, bigger fish unless you leave your drag really, really loose or you just have some of the big bulkier ones that are made like three eighths inch. Uh, metal um, this one is bent because I had a 14 14 and a half pound striped bass take off with a rod in it almost took the rod with it and yeah why this one's bent and warped like I said these are the smallest option you can get them at Walmart for you know two three dollars not the strongest but they'll work Next up is going to be my favorite rod holders, and they're made by Muddy River Rod Holders. You can get them from, well, the Muddy River Rod Holder website, Trophy Cat Tackle, and Monster Rod Holders. I'll try to remember to leave a link in the description. It's all welded, like 3 8 inch metal. Yes, I painted them fluorescent paint because brighter visibility, and I like obnoxious colors, and I also added duct tape glow tape on it instead of just spray painting them again but these are a little bit heavier but you can slide them down into like the molly straps or down inside your backpack or whatever they're plenty strong i'll try to get a little clip of some you know rod bending with each of these but these run about twenty dollars a piece including well not including shipping but around 20 bucks 
from Muddy River Rod Holders, Trophy Cat Tackle, and Monster Rod Holders. Anyway, anyway, I'm going to set a couple of these up and kind of show you rod bends and just how they handle pressure being put on them. Well, like I said, I couldn't get that one into the ground, so I mean, it did bend a little bit, but once you get that down into the ground, at least up to the cleat or where the cleat is in the ground, that rod holder is not going to lean over anywhere close to that. Anyway, on to the next couple rod holders. All right, here is an issue that you face with these types of rod holders and catfish rods. They don't fit, but you can get these that are made specifically for catfish rods. And if I can find them, I'll leave a link in the description onto the next rod holder. And this one is with the Muddy River Rod Holders from Trophy Cat Tackle, Muddy River Rod Holders, and Monster Rod Holders. The rod that I used for this little testing is a Rippin' Lips Supercat Legacy Edition. Full EVA handle. They make them split grips also from medium light all the way up to heavy. So you can do your dip baits, night crawlers, small pieces of cut bait, or your big river. Throw in big heavy lids, like 15 to 20 something ounces. The reel is a Abby Garcia Ambassador 6600SX. Line clicker, I've got it spooled up with 30 pound Berkeley Trilene Big Game. And yeah, I'll leave a link in the description of these rods. They're super awesome rods for the price point, very budget friendly. Their legacy edition is about 50 to 60 dollars, give or take. Anyway, let's go over the rod holders one more time. Cool type rod holders. Two, three dollars at any support and good store. They're good for smaller fish, but if you're going to use them for bigger fish, your drag needs to be fairly loose, or these need to be wedged into some rocks really, really well because they do not hold to the ground very well at all. But they are light, compact, and they do work in a lot of occasions. Your Bass Pro Shops rod holders, eight to nine dollars. Pretty strong, pretty lightweight, small enough you can put them in a backpack. They're worth the money for that eight to ten dollar price point. And you can also get these in a 48 inch if you want to do a lot of surf fishing or just want a higher off the ground rod holder. Definitely worth the money. Check them out. The homemade rod holders. Three and a half foot fence post, piece of PVC. You can build these for about eight to ten dollars. If you get PVC, you can get them cheaper or make them cheaper. Just drill a couple of holes, bolt it up, add some high vis tape if you want. And like I was saying, if you get these into the, the ground, at least up to the cleat, they're not gonna come out of the ground very easily at all. If you get them up to the top of the cleats, they definitely ain't coming to the ground or coming out of the ground, no matter what size fish they're after or you're after, unless it's sharks. Sharks will definitely take this with them. And lastly, the Muddy River Rod Holder. Now, as you've seen in the clip from it, this one flexed a lot less. It stayed in position a lot better with 
more resistance on it. Um, they come bare metal when you order them. I just, like I said, spray painted it in fluorescent paint, high visibility at night, and added the glow tape to it. And they run 18 to $20, depending on where you get them from. Again, Trophy Cat Tackle, Muddy River Rod Holders, and Monster Rod Holders. These are by far my favorites. They're a little bit heavier, but not by much. But the way they're made, like I said, you can put them down in your backpack fairly easily, and they won't you know, take up a lot of room. Super strong, lightweight. That's where it is for big catfishing. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video on some rod holders. Again, these are my favorite ones. Uh, probably will have some more in the future, but for 20 bucks, these are extremely hard to beat. I'll leave links in the description. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.